Spokane Ad Associates and sponsored by Inconeep Sellers Winery, 400 at the Sun Bowl, and a growing ducky pot at $600. 70 minutes of good hockey and a carpenter saw off of five all tie. You know, shooters score on one out of every 10 shots. Therefore, with almost 100 shots in this game, 10 goals is within the range of normal. And both goaltenders make key saves in order for their teams to get a point each. Spokane opens a scoring when Dylan Solberg does the work. He gets the puck in the corner, sends it back to the point, heads to the slot, he nails the rebound, the Braves grab the one to nothing lead. Curtis Redding is in front of the net when the puck slides out to him. He gets enough of it to slide it past Darren Hogg and Spokane grabs a two to nothing lead. The Coyotes start their comeback. Normally, Cam Crawford uses a devastating slap shot, but on this power play, he spies an opening low by the post. He wrists it in, and the Coyotes are on the board. The Coyotes tie it up early in the second period on a power play. This time it is Jordan Simpson who lets a driver McIver from the point. It finds the mesh behind Brandon Anato. Zach Kroll puts the Braves up again in the power play. He gets his first of two on the night. This one with a two-man advantage. Once again, the Coyotes use the power play to tie it up at three all. T.J. Cunningham slides it under a mantle, and that's going to set up an interesting third period. Six minutes into the third period, when Robson Kramer lets a shot go from the point, Brandon Watson gets his stick on the wayside shot. He tips it into the top corner. Now it's Spokane's turn to play some catch-up. And catch-up they do in an unlikely way. Killing off a penalty, Zach Kroll gets his second of the night, slapping it into the top corner. Hey, we're tied to four all midway through the third period. Less than eight minutes to go. The Coyotes connect for their fourth power play goal of the night. Scotty Patterson hammers home a rebound. Five for Osuyus. Five and a half minutes to go and the Braves tie it up again. This time a great solo effort by Uriah Machuga. He comes in from the right wing and somehow he gets the puck by Darren Hogg. Well, the teams went on to play another 15 minutes, five of them in the third period, then five minutes with four skaters, then five minutes with three skaters. It's a five all time. Although the Braves get a point, they still see the fading taillights of Beaver Valley, Nelson and Kassig are up ahead. While the Coyotes' one point means they're tied with Penticton for top spot in the Okanagan division, they get a chance to climb up out of a five-game winless streak when they host Summerland Wednesday, November 16th at the Oliver Arena. And hey folks, next Ducky Toss worth $600.